Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chloe and today I'm gonna to be filming an everyday makeup look. I am by no means a makeup guru. I'm like a makeup dabbler, if anything. I'm just gonna be sharing today with you guys my favorite products and what I like to use on a daily basis. I already washed my face this morning. I used the Purity Facial Cleanser and then I used the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. It's a really gentle moisturizer, scent-free. I have like oily combination skin. I don't usually use a facial primer, but I do use a moisture spray, the Clinique Moisturizer. Moisture spray. And I'm just gonna pat it. So right now it's winter. Usually I don't wear foundation and just use concealer, but because I am pale, I'm going to put a bit of foundation on. So my go-to foundation right now is the L'Oreal Lumi. This is a drugstore foundation and I think it works so well. If you just use this foundation alone, it makes your skin super glowy. It also has SPF 20 in it, so we love sunscreen. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. I already wet my beauty blender. I'm gonna put a bit on. Take this and we're gonna dab it. And then we're just going to blend it all around on our neck. Maybe that made a big difference, maybe it didn't, but I feel like I see like a slight more even this in my skin tones. Next, I'm going in with my concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Sand, and I'm just going to put it under my eyes. I'm also gonna put it in any place that needs like a little more coverage. Sometimes get red like right under my nose here. So I'm gonna put some there. And then I'm on my period, so I have a couple small blemishes that I just need to cover up on the side here. And then we're gonna use a Kabuki blending brush. This brush is from Sephora. I think I got it like 10 years ago. It has lasted a long time. I'm just going to blend out any concealer. And then we're gonna use a little bit of setting powder. We're gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna take a super small amount of this and put it under my eyes. And then I'm also gonna put it in my T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily. I'm gonna put there a little on my chin and a little goes a long way. So while this sits on my face, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I usually get my eyebrows microbladed and I get them touched up around once a year. I haven't had them touched up this year. So it's been about like 12, 13 months. But for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Naked Basics palette and then just this little eyebrow brush. I think I got this from e.l.f. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the faint color. It's gonna fill my eyebrows in a bit, the ends and the bridge. And then I'm gonna take this brush from Sephora. It's like a double-ended eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take the color Foxy and then I'm just going to go under my eyebrow and kind of clean it up a little bit. We're gonna take our beauty blender and blend out the translucent powder. I don't really know how to bake, but I feel like it's kind of like doing this. Okay, now we're gonna contour. We are going to use the Kat Von D contour palette. I bought this palette probably like four times and I always hit pan on it. If you hit pan, you know it's a good palette. We're gonna use the middle shade here, what's like barely left of it and we're just going to contour around our face you gotta make your fish face we're also gonna make sure we get our jaw and then I'm gonna take my kabuki brush and just make sure that I like blend out the contour as well I feel like this prevents you from looking like cakey and now we are going to contour our nose I used to never contour my nose but I feel like there's such a big difference when you do it and if you do it properly grab a skinny eyeshadow brush and then we're gonna take the middle color so I'm gonna go down the middle like this on one side it took me forever to learn how to do this guys just got practice and see what looks best on you so this is like kind of down the bridge of my nose and then I'm also gonna do right under the tip so kind of looks like that with our kabuki brush again we're just gonna blend it all out Okay, now I like to go in and do my eyes. My favorite eyeshadow to use is the Kitten eyeshadow. You can tell that I like this because it's gone. I've hit pan. I am going around the edges trying to salvage this. We're gonna make her last. With my Sephora double-headed brush again, I'm going to take the smaller end. I'm gonna take some of the eyeshadow and we're just gonna put it on our lids in just the front half because we're gonna go in with another eyeshadow after it and kind of blend them together. I feel like this really makes your eyes pop. So we're gonna put a bit in there as well. So there's Kitten on. The next we're going with my Rainforest of the Sea palette. I have had this 
for so long. I've hit pan on several of the colors, but right now we're going to use this like nudey matte color. We're gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Walmart, do the outer bits of our eyelids. And then we're also gonna take the dark brown color and go around the outside of our eyelids to try and give it a little more of a dramatic look. I feel like this makes your eyes pop. And now we're going in with some eyeliner. I'm using the Benefit Roller Liner. So I always start on the end and I always keep my eyes open when I do my eyeliner. I feel like if I close them, the line is either not thick enough or too thick and your eyes are open when you're wearing makeup. So we are going to start on the edge of our eye and I'm just going to extend my lash line out, kind of like that. Do it on both sides. And then I'm gonna do a super thin line all the way through to connect them. I feel like the wing makes my eyes look so much bigger. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I hate mascara. And I actually think it's easier for me to put false eyelashes on than to do mascara. So I always wear false eyelashes. My two favorite types are, are the Ardell Demi Wispies and also the Kiss Lashes in number 11. Supernatural. I feel like I can use them several times and they're really affordable. We're gonna use the Kiss Lashes because they're already open. My favorite lash glue is the Duo Lash Glue in black. I like to use a black lash glue because I feel like it hides the glue so much better. I'm just gonna pick off any like plastic or glue that might be on the lash already. Put a bit of glue on the lashes. I always place my eyelashes again with my eyes open so that they sit up versus kind of like sitting or sticking out and then I'm gonna try and put them on as close to my lash line as possible. Okay and then there's one and it's just gonna dry and we'll do the other one. Okay, and then we'll give them a second for them to dry a bit. Now I'm just gonna take a bit of the Benefit Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to put it on, but I'm just putting it on at the base of my lashes. I just wanna put a tiny bit on at the base because I feel like that's where my real lashes are. The less mascara you can use, the longer the lashes will last. So you can reuse them several times. Now time for blush and highlighter. My favorite blush right now is the Milk Blush and it's in the color Work. You can actually use this on your lips as well, but I prefer just to use it on my cheeks to do like two little strokes. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my nose. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit here just to kind of give like the rosy effect. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. And then I'm also gonna take just a tiny bit of MAC blush and this blush brush and put a tiny, tiny bit more on. And then for highlighters, so this is one of my favorite highlighters. I got this at Sephora. It is the Custom Enhancer by Cover FX in the color Moonlight. I just think this is the prettiest highlighter ever and it lasts for so long. I actually think I've had this highlighter for almost like two and a half, three years, which might be longer than you're supposed to use the product for. And there's so much product in it. I don't even take it out. I literally just like dab my finger on the dropper and then put a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cheekbones, and then on the bridge of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. I put a tiny bit just under my eyebrow. And then we just blend that out. This highlighter is just so potent and it lasts all day. Okay, and then I also use a tiny, tiny bit of Champagne Pop. So this is a fan brush from Sephora. This Champagne Pop is literally almost empty. I have another one downstairs. So we're gonna use every last bit of it. We do not waste anything. Last but not least, we are going to do some lip. If I want a very natural lip, I use the Tarte of the Sea H2O Balm in the color Salt Life. And I put just a tiny bit around the top, blend it out a little bit. This is my go-to if I want just a super natural lip, but then I'm also going to use a little bit of Tarte Melted in the color Rosé, and we're gonna put a little bit of this on. And then last but not least, just as a finishing spray, we're gonna use a bit of the MAC Prep and Prime and then let her dry. That is everything. I'm gonna take off this headband.
that is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to link everything that I used down below. If you guys are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.